With traditional teaching, the focus is usually on giving children an answer and instructing them to memorize it. With a problem tree, however, we don't give children the answer. Instead, we show them the problem and the teacher's job is to help the children to think for themselves. A problem tree encourages children to identify the links between cause and effect. It's a tool that trains them to think analytically. The emphasis is on understanding the problem properly first. Only then will children be in a position to create solutions by themselves. First, draw an outline of a tree on a big piece of paper or on the board. Make sure the children recognize that the picture is a tree. Ask them what role the roots play in a tree. They feed it and make the tree grow bigger and ensure they can recognize the branches. Then, take a problem that is familiar to the children. Ask the children questions such as, why is the problem there? And, what are the causes of the problem? Encourage the group to think more deeply by asking, why do you think that? and who has a different idea? Write down their answers against the roots. Now repeat the process by asking the children to identify the effects of the problem. Again, push them to justify their opinions by asking, why do you think that? And who has a different idea? Write down their answers against the branches. Once the diagram is complete, ask the children to explain the whole thing to you. Now, let's see some more examples of how we can use a problem tree.